Hey everyone, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you absolutely everything that you will need to know in order to transfer your OMI tokens from an exchange over to the Ledger cold storage wallet. I have received my Ledger cold storage wallet in the mail. If you guys have a Ledger cold storage wallet, then you'll be able to follow along with me. If you're watching this video right now and you do not own a Ledger cold storage wallet and you are looking to securely store your assets, check the link down in the description below. I'm not sponsored by, but I do have a link for Ledger cold storage wallets. If you do click on them, I do get a small rebate and it is very much appreciated. I was very happy to pick one up and know that my assets are going to be nice and safe, not being on exchanges with all the volatility that is happening currently. As you guys can see on my screen here today, and if you're an OG or returning viewer, you realize my face is in a little bit of a different place today, but that's because a lot of the important information shows up at the top of the screen on this application, and I wanted to make sure that you guys weren't going to miss any of it. So this is the Ledger Live app. This is one of the first things that you're going to need to download in order to have access to Ledger and to transfer over your assets. Now, you can do this either via the computer or mobile device. For these purposes, I will be doing it via the computer because it's easier for recording purposes and you guys will be able to see it more clearly. However, if you did buy the Ledger Nano X, which comes with Bluetooth capability, you will actually be able to manage your entire cryptocurrency portfolio with the security of a cold wallet, all while using your mobile device. Once you've downloaded the Ledger Live app and you plug in your Ledger Nano into your computer, it will walk you through a guide on how to set up your Ledger. Now, I'm not going to do that in today's video because it does take approximately 30 minutes to set up your Nano according to their spec. It took me about 15 minutes to do it, but we don't need to drag this video out too much further. I will put a link down in the description below to another video that I watched just before I set mine up to make sure that I was doing everything right. And the guy walked me through it absolutely great. And it was a 10 minute video and I think that it will serve you guys very well. So if you're not sure, pause this video, go check out that video and it'll walk you through all the steps that you'll need to have in order to set up your ledger so that you can proceed to deposit your OMI onto the ledger. Some of the things that I would caution you on and being aware of is you'll receive a couple cards that look like this when you get your ledger in the box. Now as you can see this card although it's quite bright doesn't have anything on it. Now of course I've written down my 24 word seed phrase and I've kept it somewhere private. Now when you guys are setting up your ledger you will also have to write down a 24 word phrase. Do not under any circumstances save it on your computer, take a picture of it on your phone, share it with all of your friends. This is something that in worst case scenario if you lose your ledger or there's an issue you can use this phrase to recover your crypto. But if someone gets access to this phrase, your crypto is essentially as good as their crypto because they can access your account using this phrase. So make sure under any circumstance, do not share that phrase. That is something that I do want to caution you guys on regardless of whether you watch the other video or not. Other things to remember as well, if you're not sure as you're going through this, if I'm doing something, it doesn't make sense to you, hit J on the keyboard, watch it back again. Let me know in the comments section down below if something's not working for you the way that you thought it might. You're better to err on the side of caution and not commit to something. Always send test transactions before you send the full amount. As you can see here on my screen today, before I started recording this video, I sent a test transaction from Ascendex. The minimum amount that I was able to send was 16,000 tokens, and the fee was 8,000 tokens, which is something that you guys may also find interesting. It was approximately $9 for me to send my OMI tokens over to my ledger from the exchange. I would still recommend always send a test transaction, even if it's gonna cost you double the amount. The last thing that you wanna do is click one button or get one number incorrect and then end up losing out on all of your cryptocurrency. Now that we've gotten some of those disclaimers out of the way, guys, we can jump into looking at the Ledger Live app and I can walk you through the processes that I went through in order to add my OMI tokens onto the platform. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you're on the Ledger Live app is go into the manager. Now, going into the manager, what you'll notice is a lot of times you'll have to pair or unlock your device. So as you can see here, it's asking me to unlock my device. You'll notice when you're setting up a device, it will ask you for a four or eight digit passphrase. I've gone with a four digit phrase for now. Obviously eight digits is a little bit more secure, but for video purposes, I will edit it afterwards. It was just easier to get it unlocked quickly. Once you go in there, you'll see the app catalog, and this is all of the cryptocurrencies that are currently supported on the platform. Now you'll notice if I type in OMI, 
nothing pops up right now. So you can see that the OMI token is not natively supported on the Ledger Live app. So what does this mean? Can I still add my OMI tokens to the Ledger Live app? Most definitely. All you're going to do is go to Ethereum and you're going to install the wallet. Now, as you can see, I've already installed it, but if you're curious what it would look like to install, I'll install the Bitcoin wallet right now. As you can see, it really doesn't take that long. Bitcoin is probably one of the largest or biggest networks that you could have to download. When I downloaded Binance Smart Chain, it took about two seconds. I think Ethereum took about 10. And as you can see, even without any edits here, we're going to have completely downloaded the Bitcoin network. Once you've downloaded that network, you're going to want to add an account. We have the network supported, but we're going to add this account. Now, we're going to add Ethereum because as you guys know, the OMI token is an ERC20 backed token. So you'll click on add Ethereum account. Now, what you're going to do is open the Ethereum app on your device. If you guys don't know what that means or you're not sure, it will actually prompt you immediately to open the Ethereum app. The, the platform is very intuitive and I've really enjoyed using the Ledger Live uh, software and having the Nano so far. So as you can see, it will synchronize as you're adding an account. What you're doing when you're adding an account is you're actually creating an Ethereum address for your account that'll generate so that you can send tokens to it. So as you can see here, I now have an Ethereum 2 account. I already had the Ethereum 1 account, which is where I sent my OMI tokens. I'm not gonna add the account because I don't wanna muddle my, my findings too much, make it a little more confusing for me than I have to. You really only need the one main Ethereum account. You would just simply click add account and that would provide you with the account that you'll have here. Now, as you can see with the accounts, if you click on your Ethereum 1 account under accounts, you will now have presumably a zero balance because you haven't added anything. But if you'd like to send something to that account, which is where we're going to be sending the OMI tokens, you then go receive because we're looking to receive those tokens over to the platform. And all you have to do, it's a very straightforward and simple process, guys, is you see this screen right here. It says, please only send ETH or Ethereum tokens to the Ethereum accounts. This of course makes sense. Don't accidentally download Bitcoin or Binance Smart Chain and try and send your OMI tokens to it. You will lose them because they're not supported. And then what you'll do is you'll click continue. And then generally what it'll ask you to do is verify on your device if this is correct. So this is the address that is generated to me for Ethereum. I have no problem showing this to you guys. Everything's generally publicly accessible on the blockchain. I tell you guys how much OMI I have anyways. So none of this should really be a surprise. What you would not want to see and what you would not want to share is the private key. Key. This is the public address that's available to everyone, but what you would not want to do is share your private key or your seed phrase. That is where you would get yourself in some trouble. And then all you do here is click this button right here, which is the copy button. And then you would go to your exchange, similarly to how you would send a crypto transfer from an exchange to another exchange, or if you have it in a private wallet, such as a MetaMask or a trust wallet, and you would go into where you have your OMI tokens and you would withdraw those OMI tokens under the ERC20 network and you will use this address to populate that send and then you'll pay whatever fee is associated with it. Once again, for me, it was 8,000 OMI tokens, which at current price is approximately $9. And then once I did that from Ascendex, it's sent over to the Ledger Live and I probably received my crypto in under 30 seconds. So I didn't have to wait, I didn't have to stress. And then after that, it was, it was completed. And that's all that I had to do. I verify the address here on the Ledger Live. And as you can see, the address has been shared. I can click done. And this is how the transaction took place. And this is how I received that crypto from my Ascendix account. And guys, it's really that simple. It's only a couple of steps once you've set up your Ledger Live account. Just to recap quickly, what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to wanna to set up your account and follow through the walkthrough that it will give you. It should take about 30 minutes to set up your Ledger Live account. So do budget some time in that to make sure that you can complete it. Just be mindful that you are writing down that safety seed freeze, the 24 word phrase. Make sure that you're keeping it somewhere safe. You're not showing it to anyone. You're not saving it anywhere that has an internet connection. And then beyond that, it's a fairly straightforward process. You'll set a password on the ledger and you'll add over in the manager section, 
you'll add in the Ethereum network. And once you add in the Ethereum network, you will go over to the market. And then after you go over to the market, you will add those OMI tokens and you'll be able to send them to your account. It shouldn't take too long. I'm actually, after this video, going to be sending the rest of my OMI tokens over to the platform to make sure that they're all secure and they're all there in cold storage. And before you guys get ahead of me, you guys may wonder, well, now that I have them on the ledger, how do I take them off? No need for me to make an entirely separate video. As you guys can see, you click on the OMI token under your accounts, and then all you're gonna do is you would send the tokens. And then once you send the token, you can see the balance there. Once again, you're sending it to an Ethereum address. So if I wanted to send it back to a Sendex because I'm ready to take some profit and sell off some tokens, I would send it over to the ERC20 account at that location. And you guys can do that in a couple of steps, similarly to how you would do it on any other crypto exchange. And it should be fairly straightforward for you guys. Now. If anything that I explained didn't make sense or you guys do have any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. I know a couple of you were asking, how do I send from layer two to layer one? I will be linking a video down in the description down below where I did show you guys how to take your tokens off of the VV web wallet. And my intention with that video was to bring them over to a Sendex to stake. However, that video is still valid for this purpose. You just would ignore the last step of that video where you send them from MetaMask to a Sendex and you would just send your OMI tokens directly from MetaMask over to your ledger using the exact same steps that I've laid out already. And you'll end up having your OMI tokens in the safest place that you could possibly have them, which is a cold storage wallet it, not connected to the internet where you have full control over your keys and as we all know if they're not your keys they're not your crypto guys if you don't already have a ledger like i said down below there is a, a link in the description where you guys can pick one up i really do appreciate when you do use that link for any of you guys that have already done it you're absolute legends and i really appreciate you if you guys want to see any other videos or anything related to the ledger or how to use it or you have any questions let me know once again thank you all for all the support i love you peace